What is up everybody, Rasuli Plays here, bringing you guys Fire Emblem Heroes for iOS and Android. Today we're going to be doing a summoning video, so make sure to leave a like and... Subscribe if you haven't done so already to give me some luck. So today we're going to be summoning on the freaking Trigger Defeat banner because these are the characters that are exclusive and it's the ones that I probably want the most at the moment because I already have freaking Alencia. Let me show you guys. So I have two Alencias actually. So this is this one is plus speed minus HP and then this one. What was this one again? I think it was plus attack minus HP probably and that's basically what that one was so that's pretty crazy so i don't need that and then also delphia of course i have delphia as well so meaning i don't need her i know mine's like neutral iv so maybe i could have summoned for another one if she's like you know an adorable little midget but you know i can't really give her the time of day at the moment because she's not a banner exclusive character klein i mean he's kind of cool but are we really going to go to colorless for that guy and then those are the only two banners they took out like the one with the freaking what was it? They had like the long haired guys and then the, the short haired girls with so the, those banners were gone. But speaking of the, the freaking long haired banner, I can't believe Takumi lost. Look at this. He lost. Now you may be asking yourself, Rasuli, look how much effort you put in. Can I show? Look, look at what rank I was at. I was like 16,012. But there's only 7 million people in the world, which means that I'm actually pretty damn good. Look, I beat all these guys. So that's pretty cool. And I see like some Japanese letters in there, which must mean that I'm a good player because I got to that point inside of the freaking, you know, the voting column. So it was a damn shame that freaking uh, Takumi lost. But you know what? You can't win them all. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Takumi, because he's nowhere to be seen. You get it? Sea and scene. Crazy. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and... Wait, hold on. Before I actually summon real fast, I want to show you guys what characters you can actually summon on the banners. So... You got a couple of options. So first of all, you got Naui the Eternal Witch, which is the one that I want the most at the moment. She's a red mage, meaning that she she's a red character that uses magic. So that's pretty crazy. And she's the Eternal Witch, meaning that she could live for a long time because that's what Eternal means. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Let me check. Actually, so let me. I, that wasn't a fart, by the way. That was my chair. I was scrolling back. I promise. Eternal definition. Eternal, lasting or existing forever without end or beginning. Yeah, you see, I was right. I'm fairly smart. And then you have Happy Vampire, the Henry, which is actually a character that I do have. And I think vampires can live forever as well. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys the build that I have on my Henry real quick. Oh, Henry, watch out. Not the freaking chocolate bar with peanuts in it, but look. People put on all sorts of crazy costumes for the Harvest Festival in Elise. Shut up. So he has the Spectral Tome on him. Swap, Iceberg, Fury 3, Live for Honor. The only reason I have this is because I need to grind up my badges. And I'll show you why for a second and then we have Armor March. The reason I need to grind up my badges. So if we go to the SEAL game real fast. I wanted to go ahead and show you. I wanted to get where was it at. I think it was somewhere around here. Um, creation enhancement. I wanted to go ahead and get distant defense three, but I can't get it because as you can see, I only have 870 of these small ones, but I need a thousand, which is why I have that one on there. But anyways, so without further ado, let us hit this up. Wait, before I do that though, seeing freaking Jacob on the banner reminding me to show you guys what my build on Jacob was. So if you go to my Jacob here, not this one. This Jacob, I decided not to build because I'm not really a huge fan of him. I know I, like, I took the heart off and it's a little disrespectful. I'm going to put it back on though just because the, you know, I see the way he's grabbing his chin. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. I think the bad the bad IVs were on this one. I say that, but then this one was actually minus attack, which is a little unfortunate, meaning that his attack is a little less than it would have been if it was neutral or positive. And then I think he was like plus like something stupid. I don't remember. But he's got the monstrous bow. So it's effective against the flying characters. So they're off on like the birds or like the pegasuses or something that's going to happen. And swap, it like swaps places with the adjacent allies. So if somebody's adjacent, we swap the places. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Ignis because I have a lot of defense. 36 defense. Speaking of 36, I think uh, Charmeleon evolves into Charizard at level 36. With that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon's coming out, you already know what's really good though. Gotta get to freaking level 36 and you can start mega evolving and doing the very large damage indeed. So that's pretty cool. Then we have Warrior Fighter. You know, my guy's a little slow. 
So follow up and combat? Absolutely not. We won't do that. And then I've threatened attack too because I couldn't afford the third one because I'm a cheap bastard. But so that's pretty dang unfortunate. Now then, let me go ahead and slide on over to begin the summon. Uh, hold on, real fast though, I forgot to mention the other characters that were on there. So we have Jacob the Devoted Monster. I already showed you mine. That one was pretty crazy. And then we have Sakura, the gentle Nikomata. It says, I don't know what that last part was, but she's like a cat, right? So she has like seven lives or something like that. Meaning that you have seven chances to summon her in theory because she has seven lives. So she lives seven times. So there's seven of her on the banner. So you get to summon her seven times. You know, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, speaking of banners real fast though, before I actually summon, there's, they got like this the channel going on today. It starts at 11.30 AM, 11.15. So November 15th, 17. Wait, so November, so 11 is November because it's January is the first one and then December is the 12th one, meaning that the month before December is November, meaning it's the 11th one. So it's the 11th, so November, and then the 15th, so which is tomorrow because this video is going up on the 14th. If, but if you didn't see this video on the 14th, that means you do not have post notifications turned on. So make sure to go ahead and click the bell next to the subscribe button, which of course will be available to you after you hit the subscribe button. So thank you for joining me. I wholeheartedly appreciate that. At 11.30 a.m., which is, you know, I'm, I'm an early riser and an early finisher as well, which is a little unfortunate on the last part there, but it's gonna be a little interesting to go ahead and view that video once it comes out because it should be fairly interesting so after the stream begins you can use the following link to watch the news which is you watch it on youtube live and you guys are currently watching this video on youtube so you know what youtube is so that's pretty cool and as for predictions i mean i don't know maybe we should save our orbs maybe we shouldn't even summon today and save the orbs that we have for hero fest because i don't know who's going to be on the last time julia was on there and when Julia was on the Hero Fest, check this out, I was actually able to get her to plus 6, which is a lot, meaning that I summoned 7 Julias, and she's currently S rank with my Lind, so we got the Green Mage and the Blue Mage, which is actually kind of crazy, because if you think about it, the Green Mage actually does critical damage to, where's my Lind? To the Blue Mage. So, it's like, how are they going to be best friends when the, you know, uh, Julia at any freaking given moment... Lin's gonna turn around, backstab, boom, Naga comes, but it's right in the anus, boom, we're gonna lose our blue units, that's a little unfortunate, but, you know, that's basically what it was, so I got my Julia, all the way up to plus six, and she's doing very large things indeed, and let's see if we get her to say something, May the gods ever protect you. thank you, I wholeheartedly appreciate that, her nose is a little small, looking like a, like an m, &M. I was gonna say Smarties, but Smarties in, in any other place outside of Canada, it's like, it's what, what we call rockets. It's like a, a mix between like aspirin and um, Tom's. But anyway, so we have Naga, Reposition, Draconic Aura, Death Bolt 3, and then we have Green Tone Breaker 3 and Hone Speed 3. So this is the Julia build that I use. It, you guys can see here that my hmm is at 3000. So we're doing very large things indeed with that. So that is pretty damn crazy. But anyways so with all that being said and done i guess we can go ahead and summon these are the characters that i have by the way so i don't really want any more of these whenever i go to summon because i mean why would i want to duplicate right so i have like my ira over here i summon this one for free You've gotta be joking. i'm i think she has a vagina i'm not 100 percent sure but you know, we have a lot of the characters, and of course you won't be able to summon Summer Leo because he was only on the Summer Banner. And you won't be able to summon uh, Masked Marth <laughs> Lucina. Whoa, spoilers. Watch out now because she was in Tempest Trials, and he was in Tempest Trials. And then, you know, Arvis is a Grand Hero Battle, but I wasn't talking about those guys. I was talking about all the other guys that I didn't want to summon them. Because if I summon them, then it's going to be a bit of a situation. So anyways, that being said, I showed you guys who I don't want to summon, who I mind summoning. So without further ado, let us begin. So we have one red here, which is interesting because the character that I wanted was actually red. So hopefully that's a sign for good things to come. And it is not, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. We got Apollo and she might have something interesting to her. And if you look at her sword, it's pointing in this direction, meaning that there is going to be a Halloween Henry in there or another Julia or none, which is perfectly fine as well. But you know what? You cannot win them all. And Neon a bar tray. Why the heck not? 
So anyway, that's Alex. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the sweet place. It will help a lot for all my social media links. Using the various links in the video description down below or go to tour.com forward slash sweet plays at twitch.tv forward slash silly streams. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, like I said, and I will catch you guys uh, later.